Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today I'm working on uh, this JAWS machine, which apparently is sick. Um, I'm getting an error that one of the node boards are out. And I have not done a whole lot of work with node boards, so this is going to be my first deep dive into them to see what the problem is. I've done a little bit of research, and surprisingly, there's not a lot of details out there on how to properly diagnose node boards. I'm going to tell you what I've learned, and we're going to see if it works. So booting JAWS up and it was giving an error and half of the switches and coils were not working. So it says node board 9 not found. We're going to figure out what the problem is with that. Alright so I've got the game booted up and it's it's running but we've got a problem here. So this game, all of the main boards are nodes. The CPU is node zero. And then these 48 volt main node boards, this is node board eight, and this is node, node board number nine. So let's take a look at node board number eight, which doesn't throw an error. And you'll see that there's three lights there. There's a green, a red, and a blinking yellow one. The, they each mean different things, but the blinking yellow one is the one that we're fixated on, because that means the CPU on this thing is booted up and it's communicating, it's blinking. If we look down here, we have green, red, and no yellow. So the yellow one is not working, so it is not booting up at all. So what happens? Is it a playfield condition, or is it a node board that's out? We just don't know. So I'm going to do a little bit of research and show you what I've looked into. So in this case, I've got the schematics for this node board number nine. I wanted to find out what all the connectors are because people say if you got a problem like this you want to unplug the connectors and see if the board will come back up in case there was some kind of condition on the playfield that was causing it to go into a fault mode. Although you would think it would report something if something went out. So I don't know. It's very unusual. These things seem to be very smart. They should be able to identify if a coil is shorted or something like that. There's no fuses on it so it must have some other way of uh, you know locking it out. I can't find a whole lot of details on that. Generally speaking, it looks like people just say either replace the board or start unplugging cables. So in looking at the schematics, and let me pull out a node board so we've got something to look at. Okay, so before I even started to diagnose the game, I wanted to get an extra node board. I paid about 170 bucks from Pinball Life. These things are probably going to be 200 or more, significantly more if those tariffs kick in. So let's take a look. So apparently, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. These are switch matrix plugs. These, are, these two on the right are for node expansions to ch chain more boards in so you can control more coils and stuff. And then we have connector 6. This is 4 and 5. These are the uh, network connectors. And then we've got power in. That's the main 40 volt, 48 volts power in. And then Connector 8 is the outputs, the returns, I believe, for the drivers, that, which are the high power coils. Um, number 7, connector 7 here, is the power to the coils. So we could theoretically unplug certain plugs and test certain things. And then 14 here is uh, stuff for the low power coils. And what is connector 15 right here? Let's look at it. Yeah, connector 15 is for GI. So, first things you got to do is you got to set the dip switches on here to correspond with what node it is. It's set for node 9, so it's off, off, on, off. Now, all worst case scenario, I'll swap the board out, but I'm going to see if we can get this thing by, to boot up by disconnecting some of these connectors and seeing if there's a problem. I now have looked up and I know which coils are being driven from node 9. Um, let me show you there. So here is the driver reference in the manual for JAWS and we can see these are all of the main, they call the high power coils drivers. There's a high power driver and a low power driver. So you can see node 8 handles, trough, flipper, slingshot, shaker motor, etc. Node 9 is handling the right pop bumper, the shark fin up and down, the right inlane and left inlane up post. So basically those four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the game off and I'm going to check to see if any of these coils are shorted before I do anything else. Then I'm going to start to unplug stuff 
and see if we can get this board to boot up. Now I've also been told there are some common failure points on these things. Certain communication chips or something that tend to go out pretty pricey and it's surface mount so it's not user serviceable and apparently even if you know how to do surface mount it's apparently very tricky. So let's see what we do. Let's see what we can come up with. All right, so checking the coils that relate to node board nine, I checked the coils for the two up posts, and then I got to the up kicker for the shark thing, and look at the coil wrapping. You can see it is all brown and burnt, so this is probably our problem. These two were 10 and a half ohms. This is a short. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this coil and I'm going to see if the node board will come up. I can kind of tell this thing is fried and it's going to need to be replaced. This doesn't even move. So let's see if that's the problem. All right, so I disconnected this coil and uh, this node board still isn't booting up. I have to assume one of the driver transistors might also be fried, but I don't know if there's a fusible, any fuses on this stuff. So I don't know what the situation is. I'm gonna check the continuity on this again just to make sure. All right, so that coil is definitely fried and we can tell from looking at it. That's not the way a coil is supposed to look like that. It's, uh, it's shorted out, but what caused it? That's the question. Got stuck on, malfunction on the node board. I don't know, I'm gonna try one other thing. I'm gonna start disconnecting some other stuff on here just to see if this thing will boot up or it's toast as well. All right, so I've unplugged all the coils and the power and this board still won't boot up. Now this kind of, I find particularly disturbing. Okay, so we had a coil that, that has shorted out. Does, would that take out the board or did the board take out the coil? It really bothers me that if a coil malfunctions, it can also blow a $170 node board. That's very disturbing. So I don't know what exactly the problem here is, but it's an expensive one that normally in a pinball machine, if a coil goes out, it's a driver transistor and it's a fuse and it's a coil. And you know, for 40 bucks, you can get it fixed. This is a $200 plus problem here. And that is not good. I don't know, I'm gonna to try to get some answers find out what the problem is but uh, yeah I'm gonna have to pull that board replace this coil I don't even know if I want to put a new board in I'm gonna have to find out and see where we go from here so stay tuned be sure to subscribe and for more visit pinballhelp.com we're gonna find out more about this